24 past 9. My Road Reel 2017 video application, you might remember it, this guy here, where I vlogged on an old school video camera. One of the givers asked me how I got the footage onto my computer. This guy, Justin Strachman. That's got to be a German name or Polish. Justin, he's having difficulty getting his footage onto his computer, so I said I'd walk him through exactly how I did it. And for anyone else who wants to know how you transfer old school mini DV footage onto a new computer, this is how I did it. This is how you probably could do it. Now, what you're gonna need is a Firewire cable. This guy here. Firewire back in the day was what was called Firewire 400. 400 megabits a second throughput. That there is a six pin Firewire 400. On the other end of the cable is a four pin. The four pin was what went into the camera. The six pin was what typically went into a computer. Generally that came um, Firewire 400 with Apple um, GH4s, GH5s, or GH4s, G4s, G5s, um, the cheese grater ones. But since those days, things have changed. So what I'll do, I'm gonna plug this guy straight into the camera. This is the camera here, my old school TRV900. Can't believe this thing still functions to this day. That in there is the Firewire output port. Everyone knows that. We'll plug this guy in there. It's very difficult to do this one-handed. One second. I'm gonna put it in like... Bit of a finicky um, connection. So that's there. Now it's in. So, since the... Whoa, come back over here. Since the 1990s, Firewire 400 has changed to Firewire 800. And that looked like this. That's 800. And that's what the new Macs were taking. So what you have to do is you've got to convert this end into Firewire 800. And I've done that with this little connecting cable. So this guy goes in here, 400 into 800. This doesn't change the throughput. It's still far, It's still 400 megabits a second, even though this cable is rated at 800. It doesn't change anything. Now, that would normally go straight into your computer, but it's been many years since Firewire, and now we have Thunderbolt. And on my MacBook Pro, I don't have any Firewire inputs, inputs, but I do have Thunderbolt. So you have to have a secondary joiner. This guy goes in here, and that's your Thunderbolt. That's your cable connection that you need. Old school Firewire, 800 Firewire, Thunderbolt. Now this plugs straight into your laptop, in my case a MacBook Pro, and I've got two Thunderbolt ports right here. Plug that sucker straight in there. Just choose one at random. Now it's in, now, and I've just pulled it out with my foot. Hang on one second. I'll just plug that back in there. The right way. Okay, so turn the camera on. Now I've chosen to tape at random some old school skate footage from Mona back in the day. So all you do, open up QuickTime, go to a new movie recording. This should pick up the inputs. TRV900 TRV and the TRV900 microphone. Hit play on the old camera now we'll verify it's playing there and it's playing on the screen so then all you do is hit record that's it now to prove that that's worked stop the record save it stop it on here as well so we don't get distracted save it as anything and play it back and there you go that's how I've done it one thing I noticed, you don't hear audio while you're recording it through the computer. You only hear the audio once it's